Are you resting enough? I don't mean sleeping, although we will talk a little bit about, little bit about sleep. Are you resting enough? Are you afraid to rest? Are you afraid, not afraid? Are you, do you feel guilty for sitting on the couch on a Sunday watching Netflix all day long in your jammies with a bottle of wine and pizza? Why? Why do you need to feel productive? I'll tell you why. So a lot of times growing up, you might have had all these expectations, right? So, you know, I'm not a fan of expectations. So growing up, you might have had all these expectations that came into play. Those expectations were like, don't sit around, you're lazy, right? It also depends on your age, to be honest with you. It depends on what generation you're in. I'm 53 years old. So that was the generation of be productive. Do I love for you to be productive, but actually forcing yourself to be productive does the exact opposite. It makes you non-productive based on the fact that you think you're supposed to be productive. So here's the thing, medically, psychologically, massively studied over and over and over again, you got to work and play in equal measure. They might not word it that way, but I'm going to tell you because it goes into rest. You can't keep burning the candle at both ends, okay? If you're identifying yourself with your job, with being a parent, with anything you do, right? That's what you do. That's not who you are. Your mind needs rest. I crochet. I am a crocheter. I have a million things to do. Finish my book. I've got this. I've got house stuff. Million things to do. In the evening, I don't care how much I have to get done. I'm carving out time to do my crochet. And sometimes it's two, three hours. All right. Now, I might be surprising to people, but I don't scroll social media. I don't scroll social media at all. You know, I, I might see on my on my Pinterest or on my YouTube if I'm if I'm looking for a recipe or a, or a design. That's not scrolling. Scrolling is that endless scrolling. I'm not going to sit there and do that. It's a waste of energy, waste of time. It's a production killer, and it's also the massive key to avoidance. So if you find yourself constantly scrolling while it does become an addiction, um, you're also trying to avoid something. That's how it became an addiction in the first place. So you have to ask yourself, what is my outlet? You're going to have a hard time relaxing if you have no outlet. You know, it's literally the house is not going to explode if you leave a dish in the sink. I know, shocking, but it's not. Okay, so maybe you don't do that load of laundry today, so you have two loads tomorrow. So what? You just want to be careful of, because you know there's that arc, right? So you know if you're constantly go, 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 go. At some point, I don't care how awesome you think that you are, you're going to crash. I, that's how your body is. Your body doesn't care what you think that your production is. At some point, you're gonna you're you're gonna crash. Well, now all of this production, and, and by the way, when you're super up here and you're trying to do it all, you're not. Remember, you can't multitask. No, you're not in the one percent of the population who can multitask. You're not. You're not there. So we all try to do that multitasking. So ha everything's kind of like halfway done, uh, kind of done, but you know, some things are, and then you do the things you want to do. When you rest, it also forces you to, th to be within yourself. Okay. Now, again, sit down, watch some movies on Netflix, go for a walk, lay out in the sun, sit on a park bench, take a book. Your time, you're chasing time, you're chasing the productivity, there's a deeper rooted issue. If you can't rest, okay, if you can't rest, you're going to be forced to rest. If you don't make time for wellness, you will 100% make time for sickness because you'll have no choice. Ask yourself whose voice, you're not hearing your voice, you're hearing somebody else's voice, you've adopted as your voice. Whose voice are you hearing originally that makes you say, if I sit around every now and again, okay, if I sit around or every evening I crochet or I do my puzzles, who told you in the past that that was lazy? Maybe they didn't know. Maybe in their mind, that's what defined them. They had to prove themselves. The reality is, and again, medically studied, medically and psychologically, that you have to rest. And again, I don't mean sleep, but um, you need that, by the way. Sleep is definitely something that you need because when you sleep, <laughs> yes, you're resting, but then there's that brain that goes, it's time to go to work, okay? And this is where your brain kind of goes, it filters everything throughout the day. 
so it can't take you can't absorb everything right and so it, your brain goes okay uh is this something that we need to know okay let's put this here all right what's this oh, we don't need that right so it goes through and because if not you would literally probably go crazy because you try to be retaining everything that every person everything that you experience so your body needs sleep okay so you got to have the sleep issue that you have is you're trying to force sleep stop trying to force sleep it's going to be the worst thing for you so when you're sitting there and you say to yourself i'm going to sit down and rest for a minute and then you start feeling a little odd or you're like okay well, i mean i should i should at least run the vacuum now you're going to negotiate all right you know what i am going to rest but i am going to do the 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 kitchen first you, you i can't rest if i can't now you're creating scenarios in your head that's always going to seem like you have to do that. That's great. I love that you're tidy and organized. And yes, there is a hundred. And I'm working on a on sort of a program for that for you guys too. But yes, you need to have systems. Yes, a cluttered mind is a cluttered space. And we know this. But you can't sit there and make this your identity where you go to work and you're doing all of these things. And maybe you're a parent and you're doing all of these things then you have to be super duper organized. Again, love all of those things. But if you lose yourself in that, you're not really doing anything for you. Out of all of those things, even though the organization helps you, even though those things are good for you, what are you doing for you? Okay, maybe you're getting your nails done and your hair done. That, that's great. Love that for you. It is also upkeep. Little bit different than just doing something for yourself. Yes, yes. Good, I love that for you. But outside of that, outside of your upkeep, what are you doing for you? Again, I picked up crochet in 2020. Love it, I'm crocheting everything. I feel like I should be crocheting a person. Like I love it. What can you do? What hobby can you look at? I always say walk into Michael's. Just walk into Michael's with no idea why you're walking in there. Walk around, just walk around. You might go and you might look at some canvas and see some acrylic paint and think, oh my God, I love Bob Ross. I want to paint happy little trees. I'm going to try. And guess what? You're going to suck at it. Good. That's more things to work at. Even though I'm a really, really good crocheter, I still have so much more to learn and will. You go and you say, okay, I just want to try this. You don't give up after the week. You don't get frustrated. You're, it's going to look really bad until it doesn't. Or you walk around, maybe you pick up crochet, maybe you start cricketing, maybe you start drawing, who knows? But don't go into it thinking that you gotta be perfect at it, that you gotta make money at it. Maybe you do one day. This is your mental outlet. That is also rest. Again, though, if you wanna sit on, on the couch and watch Netflix for the day, you're allowed to do that. Now, here's where it comes into play too. If someone you're living with, you're an, you're an adult, you're out of the family home. Someone you're living with is always kind of going, oh, is this, well, what are you doing today? Oh, nothing, I'm gonna sit here on the, on the couch. Oh, oh, okay. And then you start going, now that person say they're not passive aggressive and they say to you, oh, well, I thought you were gonna maybe do the painting in the bathroom. Yeah, I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna do it next week instead. Okay, that's the answer you're looking for. Not the, okay, well, I thought next week we were going to go to the dump or what? Okay, no, nope, this is what I need. Be clear on what you need because if you don't know what you need, what you need, you're always going to be trying to fill it by being productive, by trying to do those things, by trying to do those actions. And the more you do that, the more you're going to get also resentful. You will also get resentful because then you may look around. Now, the per same person who said, I thought that you were going to do this this weekend is now on a Monday night is over fishing no big deal. We want them to fish, but you will start to get annoyed because you're like, well, you are fishing. <laughs> I couldn't even watch a TV show. That's your choice though. You're allowing that behavior. What you allow is going to continue. But honestly, before you do that, you got to be willing to take that. You got to be willing to do the rest. You got to be willing to say, you know what? I'm not going to be productive today. And that is productivity. Think about that. Restoring your mind, restoring your body. How is that not productive? That makes you a better person, a better mom, a better worker, a better dad. It, it, it makes you better. Fill your own cup because if not, you will run on empty. You run on empty, you're going to get very upset and you're going to get very drained and you're going to feel very lonely. So I'm going to challenge you. 
challenging, I'm challenging you to think of something you want to relax in. Again, go out to Michael's too, but think of a way you want to relax. What movie do you want to look at? Maybe you want to write out the house so you can really rest and that's okay too. But if you don't know how to do it, start anywhere. Give yourself an hour. Off your phone, off everything. Escape from reality for a minute and go for a walk. It's a good place to start because that's how you start to know who you are and how to fill your void.